Hi everyone, it's me again, Teacher Jay, and welcome to another episode of Learning. So for this time, ang discuss naman natin, another type of variation is combined variation. Kung gusto nyo mapanood yung mga video lessons about variations just like direct variation, uh, inverse variation, and joint variation, ilalagay ko yung mga link sa ating description. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, a combined variation is formed when we combine any of the variations, just like direct, inverse, and joint. In most cases, we combine direct and inverse variations to form a combined variation. So, dito, kadalasan ay kinocombine natin yung direct variation sa ka-inverse variation para magkaroon tayo ng combined variation. So, the statement used in a combined variation, ito yung ma-encounter natin, Z varies directly as X and inversely as Y. So, dalawang variations yan, combinations of two variations, which is direct variation and inverse variation. Alam natin kapag ang direct variation is Y is equal to K times X. Yan yung pinaka-equation. Kapag inverse naman, that is y is equal to k over x. Combination of these two, that's what we call combined variation. So, kapag translate natin ito into equation, we have z is equal to k times x all over y. Kasi dito, z varies directly as x. Diba, diba magiging z is equal to kx or k times x. And, Inversely, so all over by, all over y. So, ito yung pinaka-equation natin pagdating sa combined variation. And if we solve for k, ito yung formula na pwede natin gamitin. Where k is the constant of variation. Okay, let's have this um, example. We are going to write the equation in the given variation. Where k is the constant of variation. Timbawa sa number 1. C varies directly as A and inversely as B. So, this is the combination of direct variation and inverse variation. So, the translated equation is T is equal to K times A. Ito yung T varies directly as A and inversely as B. So, all over B. So, T is equal to K, over, uh, K times A all over B. Another one, y varies directly as x and inversely as the square of z. So, combination ng direct variation again and inverse. So, the translated equation is y is equal to k times x all over, sabi kasi dito, square of z, inversely as the square of z. So, that is z square or square of z. Okay? Let's have another one. The electrical resistance R of a wire varies directly as its length, L, and inversely as the square of its diameter, D. So the translated equation is R is equal to K times L all over square of D. Kasi dito sabi niya square of its diameter, D. So square of D yan, or D square. So, ito yung pinaka-equation natin. So, let's have, an ex uh, let's have a problem here to solve um, using combined variation. If Z varies directly as X and inversely as Y, and Z is 9 when X is 6 and Y is 2, what is the value of Z when X is 8 and Y is 12? Same process dun sa mga diniscuss natin about variations, ang gagawin nyo muna is i-translate muna itong statement na ito into equation. So, the translated equation is Z is equal to K times X all over Y. Dito sa statement natin, uh, pinagsama yung direct variation sa ka-inverse variation. So, combined variation yan. Or, you can use this formula, K is equal to Z times Y all over X. 
Okay. Next, z is 9 when x is 6 and y is 2. Gagamitin natin itong values na ito to find k. Okay? So, using this formula, k is equal to 9 yung z natin. Ang y natin is uh, 2 all over ang x natin is um, 6. Okay? And then, simplifying this, 9 times 2, that is 18, over 6. Or this is equal to 3. So, this is the constant of variation, 3. After getting the constant, hanapin natin equation ng variation. So, the equation of the variation is z is equal to 3 times x all over y. Next, what is the value of z when x is 8 and y is 12? So, ang hinahanap dito yung value ng z. So, using this equation, itong formula na ito, substitute lang natin yung value ng x, which is 8 and y is 12. We have z is equal to 3 times 8 all over 12. Simplify. 3 times 8, that is equal to 24, divided by 12, that is equal to 2. So, hence, z is equal to 2. Let's have another example. If r varies directly as s and inversely as the square of u, r is 2 when s is 18 and u is 2. Find r when u is 3 and s is 27. So, ang gagawin ulit natin ay i-translate muna, na, muna natin ito into equation. So, the translated equation is r is equal to k times s. Ito yung mga ginamit na variable dyan. Okay? r is equal to k times s all over square of u. Sabi kasi dito, inversely as the square of u. So, square of u or u is squared. Next, r is 2 when, x, when s is 18 and u is 2. So, substitute natin yan para ma yung mga values na yan para makuha natin yung va uh, value ng k or the constant of variation. So, pwede natin gamitin yung formula. Okay? So, 2 yung r natin is equal to k times ang s natin is 18 and then ang u natin is 2. Kaya 2 square. Uh, square of u yan, kaya 2 square to. Simplify natin. This is 2 is equal to k times 18 all over 4. And then, pwede nyong i-divide ito, 18 over 4, or pwede kayong mag-multiply both sides of the equation by 4. Pwede yan. Right? So, we have 4 times 2, that is equal to 8. And then, 4 times k times 18 all over 4, simply cancel this one, yung 4. And then, we have k times 18, or 18k. And then, to solve for k, simply divide both sides of the equation by 18. Tama? And then, k now is equal to 4 over 9. Kasi maging 8 over 18. Simplify natin yan, maging 4 over 9. So, the constant of variation is 4 over 9. Next, uh, kunin natin yung equation ng variation. Okay, ang gagawin lang natin is, isubstitute lang natin yung value ng k dito, which is yung 4 over 9. So, ito yung pinaka-equation natin. Next, find r when u is 3. And S is 27. Ito yung hina, ano, tanong dito. Find R when U is 3 and S is 27. So, ang gagawin mo muna is i-substitute mo muna yung mga values na meron dyan. Ang hinanap is R. So, substitute natin yung value ng U at saka S. We have R is equal to 4 over 9 times S natin is 27. All over ang U natin is 3. So, square of 3. Simplify natin yan. 4 over 9 times 27, cancellation method, 27 divided by 9, that is uh, 3, and this is 1. So, 3 times 4 over 1, that is equal to 12. All over square of 3, that is equal to 9, or 12 over 9. Or this is simply 4 over 3. So, yung value ng R natin is 4 over 3. Let's have another example. The force of attraction F of a body varies directly as its mass M 
and inversely as the square of the distance d from the body. When m is 8 kilograms, ay yung mass natin, and d is 5 meters, yung distance, and yung f natin, which is yung newton, 100 newtons. Force. Find f when m is 2 and d is 15. So again, at yung mga variables na ginamit natin, f, m, at saka d. So translate muna natin yan into uh, equation. So this is under uh, combined variation kasi combination of direct variation and inverse variation. Okay? So the translated equation is f is equal to k times m. Wag yung kakalimutan yung k na dyan kasi yan yung pinaka-constant of variation natin. So k times m all over kasi inversely as the square of d. So, square of dn. So, d squared. Next, solve natin ngayon or yung value ng k. Ano? So, substituting the value of m, d, and f, we have 100 is equal to k times ang m natin is 8 and d natin is 5. So, we have a square of 5. Simplify ulit natin yan. We have 100 is equal to k times 8 all over 25. Then simply multiply both sides of the equation by 25. Okay. And this is 25 times 100, that is 2,500, is equal to, simply cancel 25 here, and then k times 8. And then to solve for k, simply divide both sides of the equation by 8, and k now is equal to 625 over 2. So this is the constant of variation. After getting the constant, um, this is now the equation of the variation. Ang gagawin nyo lang is substitute nyo lang yung value ng k. So we have f is equal to 625 over 2 times m all over square of d. And then, may tanong dito, find f when m is 2 and d is 15. So to solve for f, substitute nyo lang yung value ng m at saka d. We have f is equal to 625 over 2 times yung m natin which is 2 all over ang d natin is 15. So, 15 squared. Simplify natin yan. Simply cancel this 2 here. So, 625 over 2 times 2 that is simply cancel 2 and the answer is 625. All over square of 15 that is 225. 625 divided by 225, that is 25 over 9. This is the lowest term. Therefore, force or F is equal to 25 over 9. So if you have questions or clarifications, type your questions po in our comment section. Keep safe and God bless.